apostles Shimon Peter and Shaul Paul and John Yohanan and all of those from the first century. And I actually mean the 21st century, like the first century. Amen. So um, I'm going to just finish this part um, that is for all of us, I believe. Uh, but concerning us, this has thrusted us and trusted us to become better in social media. Amen. And, and that is distrusted us and become better in having more courses online so we can reach more people with those ancient foundations that will bring rest to our souls. Hey, Amen. Bless you. God bless you. Thank you for Thank you that. For good work. I love Absolutely. you. Absolutely. God bless you. Amen. Bishop Ben. Bless you, sir. Greetings yes, sir. again to all. Thank you. And I'm just I'm just uh, uh, encouraged by all that I'm hearing and not just to repeat what have already been said because I concur with just about everything that have been said. But 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 for me, uh, uh, coming out of the pandemic, it was a, a personal in, and ministry inspection, personal and ministry inspection. Uh, with all this, that happened, you know, where did I stand as it relates to my own relationship with God? I, I was motivated to, to, to make sure, as the old people used to say, make your calling an election sure. That's make right. sure that, you know, you, you had your, your relationship with God intact. And then uh, introspection into the ministry, the challenge to do it differently. Of course, all of us talk about, you know, just being within the church within the, your own group, you in your small corner and I in mine. But I think the challenge here was now to broaden your scope, broaden your horizon and even do it differently in, in um, courage to use technology and various means by which we can uh, take the same message, but with a different technique, different strategy different way of operation so I, I thank god for that and then finally connecting with others this new normal of course have all us allowed us to connect with others so that it's not just what i am doing but i can glean from what others are doing and use that to the advantage to uplift and expand the ministry where i am an example of that is what uh um, uh, um, Brother Oliver, Bishop Oliver just shared with us, even that, none of us knew of that, or probably not all of us knew of it, but here it is. He gave us a plug, a way that we can get things done. So again, introspection and also connecting with others to make sure that what you're doing is impacting and also uplifting. Yes, Amen. and connectivity is so important. We talked about, do you remember that? Uh, yes, we, we did. About, and, and Archbishop um, uh, Behrman and uh, Pastor Fox were talking about the prof prophetic connections mm -hmm. to what's being done. And all of this is ministering because th there is a section of leadership for each of us to reach out to. And, I, and I'm hearing from what each of you are saying it's important for us to do this and to move forward in it because moving forward is God's way mm -hmm. and bringing the past God's will is moving us forward. Church without walls, reassessing where we were, hearing and, and tuning our ears to the prophetic voice of God, seeing how he's giving new voices and making connections and uh, most importantly which I always talked about and I believe is important is that trans generational connection the young are not just young for the sake of being young they have and are becoming a great contributing voice in the right now church and we can't ignore them push them away and look for things that people looked for us in generations gone by. We must be who God is causing us to be now to move in. And you know, I, next I, um, uh, Bishop elect, I'm motivated. Um, this has motivated me when this thing started acting up. We had technical difficulties. I came back in and figured it out, y'all. And I says, through, the, through this, I'm telling you, I've learned so much on how to do um, technical things 
since um, the pandemic. And, but I am not going to stop. Mm -mm. And I see those that are coming right on back in because we're not going to stop. We already have part one of motivated to move the hundred episode. So now you're getting in on part two. But I mean, we've only been on one hour. You know, we have only been on one hour and we have covered so much information. But I saw somebody's hand up, um, but you didn't put your... Um, hit the uh, little button. You didn't. You didn't give the reaction every um, hand. I see you. I'm past the Michael Williams. Yes, there he is. How you doing, there, bow tie man? How you doing, God sir? God bless you. Good it, to see you. Just let them know who you are and where you're Apostle from. Apostle Talbot, this, 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 you are known as the bow tie guy. Pastor Williams has got an assortment. Oh yes, he he's, makes his. He's own. running up on you, man of God. No, no, I have some of his ties. Well, you have oh, some of his ties. See, there it is. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. <laughs> um, a pop, I keep on calling him a Bless Pastor Michael Williams. But... Pastor, oh, Pastor, Pastor Talbot is no rookie to uh, to our our uh, our accessories. God bless you. God bless you all. Good to see you. Uh, please forgive me for my tardiness. Uh, my wife and I were trying to find a home, and we got caught up in some 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 looking at some houses and stuff. And all right, that's a good thing. Right, so please forgive me for my tardiness. God bless you. Uh, my name is Pastor Michael Williams of True Vine Ministries, uh, located at Twenty Five Halls Street in the city of Newark. Wow, love you, man. God. Okay, love you back. Love you back, yes, sir. Right in your hand, sir. Well, we were uh, talking about um, motivated to, to move, and thus far. Everybody on the panel except for uh, Bishop Joe Brown and Pastor Cornelius haven't shared with us. And I, 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 I don't want your voice. If we're talking about new voices, they've got to hear your voices. Bishop Joe Brown. Way well, man, you know, I just, um, there was all this wisdom, you know, I'm just sitting back and just absorbing everything. <laughs> um, see that, uh, uh, as leaders, um, I believe that um, there's always there's a self motivation um, that we have anyway, because that's why we are leaders, and that's why um, many of us are in the position that we are in. Um, so, because of that self motivation, I believe that that causes us to seek out different things. It causes us to seek the Holy Spirit in a greater way. I I, I know um, uh, Bishop Woods was talking about the glory cloud and following the glory cloud, and and that's something that's this motivated me to really, you know, tap into the Holy Spirit like never before and, you know, spend some more dedicated time speaking in tongues and just, you know, getting that up and getting that up and getting that up. And then um, I believe that as leaders, um, we're, we're motivated to look and see what others have done. As so many people have said, you know, you can see what this one's doing, you can see what this one's doing, and you can glean off of what um, people are doing as long as it relates to your assignment and your kingdom assignment. And so then I'm hearing so many different, different things because, you know, the body of Christ is so diverse and we have so many different lanes and so many different lanes that we need to have and walk in so that we can affect all of the different people groups that we need to affect. Um, and so then I think it's just wonderful Ed, to watch um, and to listen to how leaders are pivoting. And I think that, that it was a prophetic example, um, Pastor Anita, about what you did. You know, isn't that what happened with the pandemic? Something unexpected just came up, it blew up, and it just happened. And then you're forced on the fly to figure out, okay, how do we make this work? How do we change things? How do we pivot? How do we go along? And I think that that's what we've done as leaders and as leadership. And I think it's so important for, as so many have said, um, for the voices to be heard, I, 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 I subscribe to the principle that nature abhors a vacuum. And so then if there's ever a vacuum, if there's a vacuum of leadership, there's going to be some voice that's going to be heard. And, you know, there's younger people. And I know I minister to a lot of younger people and, and people. Yes. Are beautiful, yes. young people. beautiful young people. Beautiful young people, too. And if, 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 if the leaders are not able to give that, then they're going to look for it in someplace else. So that's something else that motivates me. And then finally, something that um, motivates me is that I've seen an increase in, in, in people being open um, to the prophetic, people being open um, to, to supernatural healings, people being open to yes, the yes, yes. In, in a different way. So then they may say, that, oh, I was religious or I, I was spiritual or I had this spirituality or different things like that. And they were looking, but now they're really looking for answers. And they're saying, hey, do you have some answers? Do you do you, uh, what? What can you give to me? Because it looks like everything else is going crazy, and so then that's been a motivation. Because as we've been always walking in in that type of ministry, it seems that the world now 
is more open to see that kind of ministry and to experience that kind of ministry. Wow, Amen. Wow, wow, bless wow. you, bless you, bless that, you. That's bless awesome. You. Pastor um, Alan Cornelius. Yes, praise God. I, uh, in this, what we, we call new normal, um, I have been motivated, number one, because I feel like the pandemic itself was a sign of the biblical times that we are in. And when we see that God has said that uh, his desire is that none should perish. And when we make that our desire, we can't help but be motivated. And with this technology that we have today of being able to minister online through Facebook, through Zoom, we're reaching many more people. And if I want to motivate people into a relationship with Christ, then as, as someone else had already said, then I must stay motivated and be the example of a motivated son of God. And so when I put that all together, that keeps me very motivated to see that none should perish. There are, there are friends and family that I don't want to see go to hell. That is a great motivation for me. Pastor Harold Spaulding, and then we're getting ready to go off, but go ahead, Pastor Spaulding, unmute yourself. Uh, hello. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. There you go. Yes, uh, and in response to the question, I agree with everyone that has spoken, but my in my personal situation, I, I was motivated uh, uh, during this time to move uh in the direction of uh, technology and as a new form of mass media reaching the mass. Uh, it motivated me to act upon uh, a prophecy that was given to me back in 2015. That the prophet said to me that I will be doing something on the internet pastoring on the internet. Now this is 2015. So I looked at him like he had two heads because I'm like, I thought he was uh, putting me down in a roundabout way, but now I I see and I'm, I'm, I'm motivated to take the opportunity as long as this door is open to reach people in these last days. We don't know how much time we have, but we must seize the opportunity. So I'm, I'm preparing myself to see the opportunity through prayer. I have people reaching out to me. You need to start classes on the internet. You need to start doing this pastor's for I said, yeah, okay. So this is what has, it has, it has motivated me to move in, in that direction. I had no intention of doing that as my brother and my sister will tell you. I, I left that to them. <laughs> Okay. Um, go ahead, Dr. Spaulding, because we get right going. Well, I thank God for, for each of you, because what you've said, your contributions are invaluable. And uh, just want to encourage you uh, to know that we are moving forward and for you to move forward. And that your moving forward will move us even further. And as we move and motivate one another, I want to take an opportunity to just thank so many of you because your your time is important. Yes. It's precious. And uh, week after week and month after month, each of you have taken time to share with us. And we are really, really, really a grateful couple of yes. people. People who want to even show our gratefulness in a, in a greater way. So pray for us as we move forward because we are making the enemy a liar. And so are you. We're making our God the God who's bigger than circumstance and situation. So as we move forward, as we motivate, I, I believe right in this panel, God has even greater individuals and greater growths and ministries and 
there's going to be divisions and subdivisions and just a tremendous move of God is happening and is about to take forward. We're seizing the time for the days are evil, but in the days that they are evil, there's <coughs> always going to be a shining light. And you, sir and ma'am, are the shining lights that Jesus has put in this world. And these various platforms are those platforms that are causing your light to shine. And I just like to say that you continue to do what you're doing and you're going to see even more um, things happen for your individual ministries and for your ministry, your family, your community, because you are being effective. You might not feel as though that you're being effective in what you're doing, but believe me, somebody is listening. Somebody is watching you, you, and you, in the new normal. and in the new normal, because they want to know what is so different about the church and the leaders that are in the church. And we're showing the difference that Jesus is alive and he's well, and he's using each and every one of us. Now we're getting ready to go off, but we want each and every one of you to just say who you are and how you could be reached um, when your ministry is um, either in person or online and I thank you so so much um those that I've been watching the VIPs that you would just did not stress out when the, the, the system went crazy I don't know what would happen but anyway um we it's fixed and it's done and I'm the type of person I don't give up I I like challenges so bring it on devil bring your breast shot because I'm able to handle you you know we know that he's nothing but a thief that comes to steal to kill and destroy but Jesus said I am come that you might have life and that more abundantly and I thank you and I thank you and if I had a thousand arms I wouldn't be enough to take y'all and wrap you up in my arms and just hug you it's so tight well, you know, that's the beautiful thing about a virtual hug if you want to <laughs> oh, yeah, hug virtual hug <laughs> that, 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 that's the beautiful thing about a virtual hug we know that. A, a virtual hug but um so many of you have been even on my godly woman's view which is a talk show that comes on every Tuesday at 8 30 and God is just blessing um, that program um, tomorrow right. we're going to be talking about the cry of the evangelist and, and some and some of my brothers here have been on the new normal ministry panel but also men in the 21st century and I want to thank God for them yes as we expand so we want um, our first our Bishop Monica Parche Price to tell us where she could be reached she has some uh, great programs or services I just enjoy they are anointed. God bless you. Here's the 31st, right? This is the 30th. Bishop Monica Parche Price. Is she? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, Mount Zion Assembly Healing Temple. We are on Wednesday night. Word for the World. Uh, that's at 7 p.m. Central. <coughs> Uh, we have a little hiatus of our Saturday Night Live at five. We've been showing some, we've been doing this for two and a half years. So we have quite a few that we're showing in the review. Uh, we did an uh, eschatology review, uh, the rapture and trib, pre-trib, mid-trib, all that stuff going on. And so we've been showing that, but we also have, uh, you can reach me at Monica Parche Price, my Facebook page. My Instagram is I Praise God, I-P-R-A-Z-G-D. Uh, so we're just glad to be a part. And I, I, I think about 90, five of those episodes I've been a part of. So I am extremely blessed that you have connected me with so many powerful women and men of God. I'm Whoa. honored. Thank you so much, Baldings. I'll see you in just Thank about you. three, four days. Thank you. Yes, we're going to be glad to see you. Oh, my goodness. Yes, this is awesome. Um, Thank God for it. She just had a parking lot um, Sunday morning crusade. And it was just yes. awesome, I tell you. Um, we had uh, churches and we fed the community. It was a great thing. Amen. It Praise was God. awesome. Beautiful. Okay, um, uh, a little overseer Raymond Wyatt. Yes. God bless you. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I don't want to oh, let him go. Praise the Lord, everyone. <clears throat> Raymond Wyatt, we are Kingdom Life Covenant Embassy, located in South Franklin, New Jersey, and New Franklin, New Jersey, 26C, Lambert uh, Road in North Franklin, New Jersey. We meet in the park, South Franklin, Putnam Park, 
You can also reach our program at 11 a.m. Uh, every Sunday morning. And uh, we're just grateful to be a part of this great uh, leader. I just want to say just congratulations to Bishop Ouellette. Um, you to be Bishop, and we thank God for your life and all that God is doing for you, to your beautiful wife, and all the things that the Lord has in store for you. Bless Amen. You. Thank you. God bless you. Pastor uh, Dr. Donna Fox, Vaughn Fox. Good evening. Um, I'm Pastor Donna Fox from God's Peace Ministries in Detroit, uh, Michigan. Uh, we have uh, the Gathering of the Eagles prayer line every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. We also have a Sunday, a Saturday service, a Sabbath service uh, on Facebook Live and in the sanctuary at 10 a.m. along with family and friends prayer every Sunday night at 8 p.m. You can uh, find me on uh, Facebook and Instagram. God bless you. Thank you so much. I just want to say God bless you to the Spaldings. Congratulations. I thank God for uh, both of you. Amen. You inspire me. Amen. God bless you. Love you. Awesome. Love you too. Um, uh, Archbishop Dominique Beerman. I just love to say your name. Dominique. <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah. Um, I can be reached at the very simple website that's called zionsgospel.com. Zion, Z I O N S Gospel, G O S P E L.com. And that will take you to all the branches of our ministries, um, which uh, the main one is the United Nations for Israel. Thank you. God bless you. And thank you for the privilege of ministering in your beautiful hundred episode centennial of your ministry shalom 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 i love your hair too uh pastor alan cornell yeah uh, girl you look cute <laughs> um, pastor alan cornelius yes praise god and i first of all i want to thank thank you all for allowing me to be a part of the 100th episode and i would say that uh Tomorrow will be my 50th episode of Rock Through the Scriptures tomorrow. All right. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so I, I may not catch you, but I'm going to stay right behind you. On that. <laughs> That's, <laughs> it. That's, That's it. That's it. You're moving on. <laughs> but uh, I, we can be reached at uh, SWMMAG at SBCGlobal.net. Or we can, you can reach me personally on Facebook at Alan P. Cornelius. And um, for my wife, Tamara Cornelius, also on Facebook. Yes. And and we do we do do Tuesday evenings, like I said, the Rock Through the Scriptures. My wife, Tamara, Pastor Tamara, is on Thursday evenings, and then we are on Facebook Live Sunday mornings at eleven. And you never know which one of us is going to be. <laughs> <So> <laughs> we love you both too. We enjoy Beautiful. you both. We love you as well, and God bless you. Yeah. God bless you. Bishop Joel Brown. God bless you all. I just want to say um, I honor you, Bishop-elect Spalding and Pastor Anita Spalding. Um, God bless you. So honored to be um, invited to be here. Love you Love all. You. I think you all are just fabulous and tremendous. And we are um, in-person Faith Celebration Church um, in Lakeland, Florida. And we are on Wednesday evening, 7 o'clock. PM um, and on Facebook Live at seven o'clock PM and on Sunday mornings in person eleven AM service and then Facebook Live eleven AM service. Um, you can um, check us out at www.faithcelebrationchurch.com www.faithcelebrationchurch.com and my personal Facebook page is Bishop Joel Brown. God bless you all. Bless you, man God of God. Bless you. This man of God's got a, a set of young people that can on pray fire. on, on fire, fire 12 God. noon every single day. They are live, I mean, and, and just live wires when it comes to prayer. God bless you. Bishop Sean Avery McMillan. God bless Sir, you, my friend. On camera, uh, camera. God bless you, my friends. I want to say congratulations to my friend, um, Bishop Elect. I'm sorry I can't make it, but I promise you when I'm in the area, I'm going to come see you both. All right. All uh, right. We love the traveling. We always sometimes in the area, so we're going to definitely make sure we look you up and make sure we fellowship with you. Amen. Uh, but the location of my um, church is in Lauderdale Lakes, Florida. 
um, in Broward County. Uh, we are a uh, growing, growing church, um, and we love God and we love preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. You can reach us at, at um, New Life Worship Ministry One at gmail.com, or you can reach us at um, every Sunday morning live on our youth ministry page at New Life Youth Ministry, where we believe in letting go and letting God. Again, thank you so much. We love you all. Love you, man. As you continue to move forward. Amen. Thank God. Uh, Bishop Andre S. Woods. Blessings, blessings. I am so excited to be a part. I'm, I'm one of the new kids on the block, but I <laughs> praise God. And, and, and I am a product of networking this whole Facebook thing. Thank wow. God for a possum. Uh, uh, I don't call it Apostle, Apostle Spalding and Bishop-elect reaching out to me, inviting me, yes. and I'm here again now, and I certainly praise God. And let me announce, all of you are welcome to join me on, a, on one of my platforms. This is my story. Sunday, uh, July 30th, 6 p.m., my guest will be Bishop and Pastor Spalding. They're going to be on with me, Bishop Andreas Woods. Facebook page, join us. We're going to share their story on This Is My Story. And of course, awesome. you can follow me on all of my other platforms, the Interdenominational Seminary Churches USA, our Faith Covenant Partners, Global Outreach every Sunday night on WVCT Radio Detroit on Facebook and YouTube. And then of course, Spotlight on Music every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Fellowship of Music and Arts. Facebook page, Spotlight on Ministry, every Sunday, 5 p.m. Uh, on uh, the Interdenominational Seminary of Churches USA page. Blessings and thank you and congratulations again. Bless thank you, you so much. I'm Bishop Aaron McClary. Unmute. Um, oh, here he is. Did it. Hey, praise God. I thank God again for you, uh, Bishop Relax Spalding and and I, I concur, Apostle Spaulding. And I'm, I'm sad about <laughs> being to be with you this weekend, but I'm excited. I think the one word that sums up the new normal for me and for the many views that have been expressed is love. Wow. And I just love, you know, God, first thing I learned in school, I remember elementary school, first thing they told us, God is love. And they gave us the golden rule, do unto others that they've had you do unto you. That was the first thing that I learned. We went into the seminary before we even went to a class. But just, I know from my experience, the love I've received from you all, from all the pastors, uh, Apostle Bumpers, and just, just uh, it has brought life to me. So I want to encourage you uh, and, and, and pray for you more love and more life in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, that's oh, so Bless awesome, you. Bishop. I'm overseer Linda Steinex. Praise God. I'm just excited, excited, excited. All this week is just wonderful things happening for the Spaldings. And so I just encourage each and every one of you that has been blessed by this ministry to please keep them in prayer and lift them up because they are so precious. They are jewels to the body, just as well as you all are. I'm Linda Steinmetz and overseer of Transformation New Life International Churches. And um, you can reach me on Facebook under my name. You can also reach our church at TNL Church uh, on Facebook. You can also join us on Facebook on Sunday. We are uh, live preaching on Sunday. Glory to God. We do have Bible study that will be starting in August uh, on Thursday night Bible study. And there's a whole lot of wonderful things that I'm motivated to do. And I'm moving in that direction because right. of the new normal <laughs> and because of you all inspiring me to move yeah. higher and firmer and stronger. God bless you all. Have a Love nice you. evening. God bless you. I'm our Apostle Willie Talbert. Oh, God bless you. Thank you again, my friends, for allowing us to be a part of this. I'm so honored to, again, as I stated, to meet so many great women and men of God. Uh, we're Yes, Lord Ministries. You can find us every Sunday, 8.30 a.m. East Coast time and 6.30 p.m. 
East Coast time uh, on our website or on our Facebook page. And we also have a mobile app so that can keep you informed on everything that we're doing with the ministry. And then on Wednesday nights is our spread the bed, bread Bible encounter, where we just break down the word of God. So we love you all. Thank you again for the opportunity. And if I may take this privilege here, this 100th episode, I, you know, those that are led, maybe we could sow into their ministry to help them continue to perpetuate the gospel of Jesus Christ. So we thank you for this opportunity. So if they would make available their cash app, that would be <laughs> ideal for those of us that are on or that's on Facebook. God bless. Bless you, bless you. Bless the Lord. That's, that's the birthday boy there. He just had a birthday on Sunday. Yep, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, Bishop Elroy Ben. Oh, you want his cash app? It's dollar sign A O S S O M. Awesome. Awesome. A O S S O M. Put it in the chat. Oh, put it in the chat. Yeah, put it in the chat. Okay, I see. Okay, y'all showing me something different today. Go ahead. Um uh put it in the chat. Wait a chat. Oh Okay. No, that ain't the chat. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, okay. See there, y'all teaching me something else. Okay, there you go. All right, Bishop Elroy Ben, sorry. Uh, that's okay. Blessings to all again, Bishop Elroy Ben and uh, Deliverance Christian Fellowship. You can follow, follow our ministry or uh, Newark location. We are on Sunday morning at, uh, at 10 a.m. on YouTube and uh, 11 a.m. the North Carolina location. We are on Facebook, Deliverance Christian Fellowship Church, Monroe, North Carolina. And then I'm on on Friday, every Friday at yes. seven is our awesome. Friday inspiration where uh, the Lord uh, uses me to share a word of encouragement and inspiration to the people of God. Love this panel. Love the people of God. Thank you for being a part of the new normal. God bless you. God bless our Bishop Nathaniel Gomillion. Oh, right. Uh, praise the Lord. Well, first of all, and I was I was uh, getting ready to cash out. I'm sorry, I was, I was on my phone. But uh, I, well, I'm very excited about being here today with uh, meeting so many uh, new people and hearing so many new voices and uh, perspectives. I'm really blessed by all of you here tonight. Uh, you can uh, get me at Tabernacle of Praise. That's Church, uh, um, and you can look at listen to my interview on Wednesday. I do an interview prayer call podcast at Dominion Dominion Ministries. Uh, good. Get it at you can go out and listen to some, and you can be with me on Wednesdays and also on Sundays at 11 o'clock. Tabernacle of Praise for Gospel Baptist Church in Zuna. 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 That's Zuna. all right. Yeah, that's right. Zuna, Zuna, Virginia. And um, and we're not on every Wednesday because I do different things on Wednesdays. I have uh, family, my family Bible studies uh, on first and fourth and uh on Facebook Live, but I also have um, single couples on second Wednesday, and I have men's and women's Bible study on third Wednesdays, and those are not on Facebook Live. Wow. Bishop Love Gomillion you. is you, awesome. He's so easy to talk to, too, and he's introduced us to so many different um, uh, people that can come on our programs. And, I thank and, and God ministry for minded. And ministry-minded. It's just, just awesome. Um, Bishop Paul in Vincent. <laughs> God bless you once again. It's a blessing. It's a pleasure to be on the show. And once again, I want to congratulate um, Bishop elect once again on your upcoming um, consecration. And also, congratulations to Apostle Anita. <laughs> what y'all all, all will affirm me today? <laughs> y'all are hilarious. 
Reverend, thanks so much. So I am Bishop Connor Paul Vincent, <coughs> Power Chapel, El Paso, Texas, 1182 Nigerian Lane in El Paso, Texas, 7936. Our Sunday services on Sundays, 10 a.m., Wednesdays, midweek service, 7 p.m. First Saturdays of the month, we have our El Paso Miracle Night, um, 7 p.m. as well. Tomorrow and every Tuesday, I do have um, Persistent Works online show. Yes, it's like good. Persistent um, Works. Yeah, some friends have nicknamed me Apostle of Persistent Works. So my <laughs> first book is titled Persistent Works. It's and from good. then, every other product has become a Persistent Works product. So the online show comes up at um, 10 a.m. at Basel time, which is 12 noon um, New York time and the Eastern time. So if you are available, you can join me. I normally stream it from my um, Persistent Works by Bishop Konepo Vincent Page on Facebook. Um, if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you also to subscribe to it. We have over 32,000 subscribers so far. My goal is to reach 55,000 um, before the yeah. end of this year, hopefully. So I also have an, a magazine I want to um, promote once again, Persistent Works magazine, which I've been talking about. Um, Hold it up higher. Okay. Okay, so it's um, so on this edition we did a story on Maurice Cerullo. I guess most of you know the ministry of Maurice Cerullo. His ministry impacted me a lot. He built a legacy center in San Diego, California. So we did a story, interviewed his vice president. So it's a global magazine. It's reaching thousands. We have it on the online edition. If you go to, if you scroll through my page, you will see it. But also you can visit persistentworksmag.com and the print edition will be reaching many locations. Um, we are planning to distribute it in 55 nations around the world, but it's already available you know, um, digitally in that electronic format. And if you would like to put an advert in the upcoming editions, subsequent editions, um, please do reach out to me. Um, you can visit my website, vincentpaulorg.com, my email, vincentpaul35 at hotmail.com. Once again, thank you so much for your time. It's always a blessing being on this show. God bless you all. We appreciate you, Bishop. And his magazines are awesome, y'all. We have a copy because we were um, featured in one, and it's it's beautiful. He is really a person that is motivated to move. Dr. Cynthia Atkins and Bishop Atkins. God bless you again, and congratulations again to Bishop-elect and to Pastor Spalding, congratulations. This week is going to be very exciting for yes, you and your husband. Um, giving God all the praise for the many assignments that will come out of this. Oh, and Jesus. for your, um, I, I preached a couple weeks ago, alignments, assignments, protocols, and workers of iniquity. And wow. so, uh, Bishop, um, I'm I'm expecting you and Pastor to do some great things in the kingdom of God. And you can find um, New Destiny. You can go right through my page, Cynthia Atkins, um, where we have Wednesday night, 8 p.m., uh, 30 minutes of fire. F -I -I -A. Yeah, that's all right. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> and on Sunday, we do have worship at 10 a.m. and the preaching. You can go right through my page and get right on our Zoom. Thank you. Wow, thank you. She's such a sweetheart and can preach. Um, uh, Bishops, State Assemblyman. Amen. I believe, my wife, I, I believe my wife has said it all. I'm just That's excited definitely. about being here for the 100th episode. I prophesied and said it was going to happen. <laughs> I said I was going to be here. And we said we was Live, 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 live. You're going to live to see it happen. Oh, Jesus. We praise God for that. Oh, so excited about our relationship and what God is doing yes. in your life. Appreciate you. Um, I just see greater and God's about to blow you up. Glory oh, to God. Jesus. Amen. So we praise God hilarious. for that. We love you. Love you. God love bless you. you. You know, it's it's just awesome to have all these awesome people. Matter of fact, we've met in these 100 episodes most of the bishops apostles and pastors and overseers they, we've met them right online and i i praise god because i mean there's oodles and noodles of them but i thank god for them just being um they just accepted um the invitations to be on 
um, new normal. And I know it's God. That's all. He just led me to him. And they're my friends. So I said, out of my 5,000 friends, I guess my friends are going to come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> but anyway, um, um, we, we got two more to go or three more. But um, next year, we're going to be meeting in person. We've already spoken to an event planner. And we're going to be planning. So look out because we're going to be calling Set some that will... Um, you know, speak and do workshops. So we're preparing um, the, our budget and all of that good stuff. So we'll be contacting um, different ones. And we know that God is going to do something great. And we're looking for the part but to try to centralize the location. Yes. Since the, you know, you're from so many different states and countries and places. But pray for us because it's going to get done. Yes. And we, it done. should be out it's by be September awesome. or October. Awesome. So we're working on that. Now we have our um, Pastor Michael Williams. God bless you. Right after then, Pastor Michael Apostle, excuse me, uh, Michael Haggard. God bless you, man of God. Oh, somebody special. All right, go ahead, um, man of God. Uh, God bless you. God bless you. I am so excited about um, Bishop Alec Richard Spalding. Uh, you. Uh, yes, yes. And of course, Pastor Spalding, I love you both. My wife loves you. My yes. church love you. Um, whether you like it or not, we've adopted you as our uncle and aunt. So oh. uh, <laughs> all right. All right, we got a nephew. We, got right. that. we have already decided, you know. Of course, we said we were led by the spirit, but you know, we're gonna just uh, like that. But um uh, I just thank God for this platform because. Uh, it's evident that God has inspired you to bring together some people who are genuinely concerned about the advancement of the church. Mm, and yes. I'm not here just to see who else has been invited, but God has given us some very valuable input to help one another in our ministries. Amen. So that is a blessing in itself. I mean, because I, by listening for the short time I was here, I heard the contributions that was given. And I can hear that they were all God inspired. So God bless mm -hmm. you. That's all to you for allowing God to speak this into your spirit to do this and to have this platform. Uh, because I do believe that we are all people that are concerned about uh, the advancement of the church. Uh, once again, True Vine Ministries um, we're located at 22 Halsey Street in Newark. Uh, you can find us at Penn Station. Uh, yes. You can find us on the corner of Clinton Place and Nye Avenue. You might find us on the corner of Broad and Market. Uh, but if you want a church service, uh, you can find us at 22 Halsey Street at 1130 every Sunday. Uh, Monday, oh, mornings we have, yeah, Monday mornings, we have the men's gladiator prayer line. It's open to anyone. Oh, nice. uh, we have a uh, Wednesday uh, uh, prayer line for the church. We have uh, Thursday fasting, Friday uh, Bible 101, Saturday women prayer line, and then back to our uh, church so every day we have we have an activity uh, in the church that keep with you. We are in person, but we're also on uh, Facebook and we have Zoom sessions as well. Wow. Love you, man. Love you, man of God. My, my if, nephew, my niece. If you want to uh, <laughs> upscale your wardrobe, <laughs> I don't blame you. Aaron McClary, if you want to upscale, he's also a customer. If you want to upscale your wardrobe, we are located 746 Fox <laughs> Street in Maplewood, New Jersey. We've been in, uh, it's a 30 year old company and I started 30 years ago. We've been in GQ Magazine, British GQ Magazine, Men's Wear, Old Magazine, Cover Star Legend, News from New Jersey, On Stars and Athletes. So we'll do you right. we do you right. Wow, that, that's awesome. <laughs> um, Apostle Michael Haggard. Did I miss anybody? Uh, you have to unmute, Apostle. I think I've updated it. Is that better? Yes, sir. We hear you now. God bless you. 100 episodes. Um, you know, in the midst of the pandemic, um, everyone was running around talking about the new normal, the new normal, the new normal. And when you had your first broadcast, I believe that I was a part of that. And now to be a part of the 100th episode and the new normal is now normal for us to be here on Monday nights um, as you bring all of us together uh, to 
must found about the word of God to advance the kingdom of God and his people. And so I am just honored to be here tonight. I am honored to be the uh, celebrant with um, the bishop on this coming Saturday. Um, with sure. all the fine details on everything. Um, this is the last couple of days. So I am double checking, rechecking, questioning everything that the team is ready to do. <laughs> he is gassed up and ready to go. All um, right. We, we, actually had, we actually had 13 people that want to travel with us, and I had to pump the brakes and say, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, we, we still want to um, pay awesome. attention to some of the things that we're going to be doing. But we are just very, very excited um, for all of you for 100 episodes, and they will be at least a 1,000 more. May God bless you. May God keep you in his mighty peace. Love your well, pastor. Praise Love Jesus. You. Well, we thank, thank you all on Saturday. Yes, sir. All right. And on Saturday is at, um, let me see, is the consecration of bishop elect to the office of jurisdictional bishop. Um, and that will be at Deliverance Jesus is Coming, 815 Springfield um, Avenue in Irvington, where Bishop Vanessa Everett is hosting the consecration at 1130 a.m. So those of you that's coming, we'll be glad to see you. More than glad. And we love you. Pray for dearly. me. Okay. Pray for us. We love the adjutants are over there right now. Show them <laughs> getting ready. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Apostle. We appreciate okay, it. Bless your hearts. We'll see you on Friday. Yes, Cindy. Thank you so much. You know, never have so few owe oh, so much to so many. Your kindness and your prayers, your concerns and your love money cannot buy our concern for one another in the body of christ is what makes us his disciples because the bible says by this shall all men know that we are christ's disciples because we have love one towards another let's keep loving god loving each other loving the souls of men until jesus comes god bless you see you on 100 and something God bless everybody. God bless everybody. Bless everybody. Thank you once again, and Bishop uh, Andre Woods, he put that together for us. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Beautiful. Bye-bye.